Early in the morning at 8 o'clock, you can hear the postman knock. Up jumps Ella to open the door. One letter, two letter, three letter, four. Hey everyone, I'm going to give you a chance to echo or copycat me. I'm going to say one line of our early in the morning chant and I'd like you to say it right back to me. Me first, then you. Early in the morning at 8 o'clock. You can hear the postman knock. Up jumps Ella to open the door. One letter, two letter, three letter, four. So if we put that all together, we can make a pretty cool sounding chant. Let's try it all together two times through. Here we go. Early in the morning at 8 o'clock, you can hear the postman knock. Up jumps Ella to open the door. One letter, two letter, three letter, four. This time where you see the name Ella, try putting in your own name. And I'll be quiet there so you can say your own name. Beginning, ready, here we go. Early in the morning at 8 o'clock, you can hear the postman knock. Up jumps to open the door. One letter, two letter, three letter, four. One last time, say your own name or the name of a friend. Early in the morning at 8 o'clock, you can hear the postman knock. Up jumps to open the door. One letter, two letter, three letter, four. Here you can see little Valentine letters that show what our rhythm looks like. The small letters mean quick sounds, and the bigger envelope letters are slower sounds. Let's say it together while we look at the envelopes. Here we go in four, three, two, one. Early in the morning at eight o'clock, you can hear the postman knock. Up jumps Ella to open the door. One letter, two letter, three letter, four. Each of those little pictures of our envelopes means a rhythm. Some that we know, some that we're learning today. Here's ones we already know. Early in the is four fast sounds. So that's four sixteenth notes. And eight o'clock is ta ti ta Anywhere that we have a blank line is one of our newer rhythms, and we're gonna go over that right now. So here I have a rhythm that has three sounds, and the first two sounds of that rhythm are small envelopes, so those, they go more quickly. The third sound is a bigger envelope, so it goes slower. That means my first two sounds are 16th notes, because they're faster. And then I don't put the extra line on that last note because it's just an eighth note. So we're going to call this rhythm rattlesnake because the word rattlesnake sounds like quick, quick, slow. You can also call it by its rhythm syllables, syllables, <laughs> takati. With the counting system, we call it one e and. So my first line would now be bum 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 bum. Let's jump down now to the third line where I have Ella to. Ah, that's the same pattern. Quick, quick, slow. So my double beam for the 16th notes. And again, open the quick, quick, slow. All right, we have one new rhythm left today, and that's in our bottom line. It looks just like the other ones, but it's reversed, where our two quicker sounds are at the back of the rhythm, and the slower sound is at the front of the rhythm. So that means my double beam now goes at the end. So I have an eighth note at the beginning and two sixteenth notes at the end of the rhythm. One letter. We're going to call this strawberry or with the rhythm syllables ta tiki and with the counting system one 
and a. We have that rhythm again here. And we have it here. So that's our whole rhythm chart now filled in, and it sounds like this. Let's try to say the words to the chant while we tap the rhythms, and a here we go. Early in the morning at 8 o'clock, you can hear the postman knock. Up jumps Ella to open the door. One letter, two letter, three letter, four. <laughs> 